and it's us. Hello, internet. Um, it, this is I'm not trying to kill you, and we are playing the splintering wheel today. Um, I'm your host, and I'll also be the GM. My name is Ash, and I use she, her, hers pronouns. Um, and I have with me four lovely adventurers who are going to go out into the terrifying jungle overgrowth nonsense bullshit today um and i will get them to introduce themselves and the characters that they're going to play um starting off with emily hi emily hello hi i'm emily uh i'm, I'm a filmmaker and an artist um i use she her pronouns um today i am going to be playing a new character and i'm very hype about it um, my character is Faustus LaCroix, we're going to go with that to start off with. Uh, he's not entirely sure how to pronounce his own last name, uh, but don't tell him that. Um, he is uh, an arcane duelist, he's very fancy, uh, and, and very smart also, absolutely, absolutely very smart. Awesome, cool. Next up, we've got Darren. How are you going, Darren? Uh, I'm fantastic. Uh, I'm Darren. I use he, him pronouns. Uh, I'm oh, Alchemy and Ink in chat. I used to be Explosive Logaria. And I'm a oh. game designer and internet gremlin. Um, so I'm also playing a new character. I'm playing Bells, who is a mute uh, priest and exorcist of the Wardens. And, uh, oh, geez. Um, what else to say? Uh, that can be enough for now. That, okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's keep yeah, that. Yeah. Cool, all right. Um, and then we have uh, L. How you going, L? Hello, I'm L. I use Zzer pronouns. Uh, I'm on Twitter at occasional L. I play games on people's streams. That's mostly the thing that I do. I'm also playing a new character because I've never been here before. It's very good to have you. <laughs> so I'm playing Tsk, who is a kobold and a bard and whose name has no vowels. Oh my god, yeah. I'm so about it. <laughs> I can't um, wait to have trouble pronouncing that. <laughs> yep, it's it's awesome. Cool. Um, and finally, we have Ray. Hi, Ray. You look cold. It's it's a little bit cold here in in Nui. Uh, I am Ray. I'm gender fluid, and I am using he him pronouns today. Uh, I am going to be playing Brianne, who is a ranger. I'm pretty sure. We're pretty sure. Pretty confident. Uh, do you stop they being a ranger a, if your pet leaves you? Yeah, I hope not. Uh, uh, I'm quiet and introspective, while well, my character is, uh, and I have a carnivorous cassowary animal friend who who is has gotten a bit bit uppity recently. Well, I mean, you know, you've got to you've got to give workers their due, and so mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think Thelums might be on the verge of unionizing. I was going to say, yeah, like union of anim animal companions. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, um, let's jump. Shall we jump straight into beta? I, today, um, today beta is, um, is quiet. Um, we see, um, uh, so like a, it's a kind of like a half monkey cat thing, like a scamping or uh, scampering around the streets, um, stealing, um, stealing things from, uh, from like the corners of houses of the, and things like that. Um, I think we see, um, people are like slowly and quietly going about like put it, uh, fixing up a house that is half fallen down. Um, uh, the, none of the old folks are around, or, or like a bunch of the old folks aren't around today. They're obviously off doing something important or weird or who knows. Um, and, um, is anyone doing any, like, work in town? I think the only person who's, uh, Brianne is the only person who's got, like, continuing, um, opportunity to do so. Did you want to do lending a hand for any of the, the works in town? Yeah, um, 
I wanted to um, continue trying to um, get the. It was the carpentry workshop, wasn't it? Or something to that effect. Carpenter is definitely one of the ones that's being worked on, yeah. Yeah, I believe last time I had like, I believe last time Brian and had cleaned out their uh, the the home that they shared with their wife, mm -hmm. um, and because Brian and felt that they didn't need uh, that house anymore and wanted to turn it into something that the community could use, I yeah. believe was the vibe. Yep. So I guess I will continue that yeah. project, trying to make it into this space for carpentry so that we can, you know, get some cool house building projects going or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. cool. Some wood turning, yeah. make some bowls. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, cool. In which case, um, let's do the move for lending a hand. So... Um, when you spend in time in ha town and help develop an improvement while other adventurers set forth, roll, say how, how you help and roll plus fortunes. If you have, con if you consume a resource that would help this project, you get to take plus one. I don't think I have a resource to consume. All right. So you're rolling 2d6 plus one because fortunes is currently positive. Cool. Um, Hey, that's not nice. too bad. Nice, awesome. I rolled a nine. Yeah, on a seven to nine, choose one. You make headway, but the going is tough, and it takes its toll. Mark a progress but gain a, uh, towards the improvement, but gain a debility, or the project is delayed due to disturbances in town. The GM will give you one reliable rumor. Oh, I think I will take that one because I believe I'm pretty stacked on debilities at the moment. Yep, cool, awesome. So you want a reliable rumor? Yes, I will yeah, take yeah, reliable yeah, cool. rumor, please. Um, let me have a look. Um, um, I think... Let me check if that's a thing, because that would be cool. Um... I think someone, um, someone recently while, um, while trying to go find, uh, while trying to find the, uh, the ghost gum, which was previously the nod cap tree, um, to, to go and investigate it, mm -hmm. um, uh, stepped in a big iron bear trap. And some other people have suggest uh, have said that there are like in that area, um, they've seen some of those as well, or other uh, other similar things. Someone, one person, um, uh, one person saw a deer get blown up by some, where they where a deer like stepped on, um, uh, like a, a trip wire, and then just there was an explosion. Um, so, in an area that is not like the at the nod cap tree itself, but like nearby to there um uh yeah there have been a lot of like traps set up um and yeah. someone is pretty sure that uh at least one of them um uh had like a uh had a uh like a scrawled uh note on it um just said give back in big in like big red writing sure Wondering if I should put this on the map. Um, should be an interesting learning curve. Uh, so yeah, I mean that sounds pretty messed up. So like, I think someone goes out to fetch resources to help you with the with building the carpenter, and like comes back and is like, "I didn't get anything. It was scary. There were traps." <laughs> so there's this thing on my leg. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. All yeah, right. and someone just saw a deer just get go do 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 poof. Yeah, horrific. All right, well, I mean, that's a pretty fair reason for progress to stall. Hmm. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. If anyone, it, what what are other people doing around town? Are we going to head straight out of town, or do some people want to do some rumor mongering? Uh, I think Bell is uh looking for rumors mm -hmm. sort sure. of yeah 
So um, she is sitting in the middle of town on a prayer mat, and she is shaking a staff with seven bells on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, when people approach, a uh, like a serpentine uh, elemental spirit of uh, shadow coils out of her throat and wraps around her. And it will be asking passersby, uh, excuse me, have you heard anything about the castle of Atsis? Awesome. So, yeah, if you want to spend a coin, you can take plus one forward, but otherwise you're just rolling plus charisma on that one. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. That's that's a predictable result from... Yeah. Yeah. That. Um, someone has definitely heard about... Um, about, like, yeah, about Atsis, and, um, I don't think they've heard about the castle. Um, but let me have a look at my, my little thing here. Where, what's the current status of Atsis's nonsense? Um, oh, um... I think I, I think someone says says Atsis. No, he's scary. Someone brought uh, someone brought him in, uh, brought him into town, and then uh, and then the next uh, and then the next dawn. Um, uh, where's my name list? The next the next dawn, my brother turned into uh, turned into ash. Um, and they're like, you should be careful. Keep away from Atsis and all of that nonsense. Um, uh, and they're like, I'm pretty sure that, uh, I'm pretty sure that I've seen, uh, that I've seen other creatures nearby also, uh, th uh, that have been turned to ash in the same way. I, I think when Bills hears this, uh, she nods and gives a beatific smile. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, and like this has been an increasing problem when like you, you get from other people that like yeah, um, that like I think one person has had just uh, uh, one person. I don't think they saw the figure specifically, but like a figure in the shadows reached out and uh, reached out and touched uh, and like touched them on the leg, and now like their their leg has started to turn to ash. Yikes. Hmm. So that's 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 neat. So yeah, does anyone else want to do the thing? Or I mean, like the great thing about this is is that is that the two means that I like tick a thing forward. So I I think I would like I think I yeah? would like to though. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um. Uh. I think. Um. Uh, I think Faustus has like like just arrived in town, um, so he would like make a beeline for somewhere that seems crowded, where people have gathered together, uh, and would sort of like, you know, uh, attempt to make friends um, and ask. Uh, I think I think he specifically asks people like, uh, um, what grave and terrible foes have beset the town of late. You know, what problems need solving that a brave person could solve? Better roll that. <laughs> um, is it, uh, it's charisma, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Cool. I don't suck at that necessarily. Okay. I don't entirely suck at that. All right. I got um, a seven. Do, 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 do. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to like pick a random thing from my like pinterest monster board <laughs> yeah excellent uh, i like the idea of a pinterest monster board that's good that's a good thing um <laughs> oh yes excellent Whereabouts? I, I mean, they don't they don't know where it is, but a great uh, a great lizard with uh, uh, with um, glowing eyes. It's a great lizard the size of many houses with glowing eyes and um, and a serpentine tongue 
and a horrific shag of uh, a horrific shaggy mane um l- uh, lurches through the uh, through the forests near here and consumes those who uh, consumes those who answer its riddles wrong I make this face and then I say very good indeed I shall seek it great awesome yeah um cool unless uh wants to uh specifically do some rumor mongering or do we want to do we want to head out and and we can have a look and see what everyone looks like and and make way i think i'm good to head out we have we have rumors Mm, cool all right um so um as you head out out of town as a like as a group you you kind of like end up doing that thing where everyone's like walking out of town and you're in the same vague direction and you're like, oh, I guess we're a party now. Um, who's who's the person who's in front leading and where are we, like, where are we going? What do you look like? All of those sorts of things. Did we decide, uh, like, out of character what we want to pursue? Well, that's what I'm asking you, yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, um, I think we should, we should think about that. So what was, Ray, can you remind me again the details of the one that you found out about? Yes, so near, I want to say something about a ghost tree. Cool. The ghost gum. The, the ghost gum. Near the ghost oh, gum, okay. there was, uh, sort of in the general vicinity of, there was, a, or the vague direction of, there had been traps that people had come across. And some of them were like iron bear traps and others were explosives and trip wires and things like that. Mm. So that suggests um, one, something very dangerous to both the town and our food supply. Because um, mm. just blowing up deer is a bad hunting method. Yep. Um, but also I think that suggests that there might be a resource we can get because somebody has gunpowder. Yeah. yeah. So, or explosives, like whatever, either one. Exactly. And what we know, out of character at least, about the ghost gum, as per the journals, is that it is huge, old and dead. It was formerly inhabited by Nodcaps and glamoured by their possessions. Uh, it was cursed by Anri, one of the adventurers, to be less appealing from the outside, and so apparently now has thorns and brambles and things. Um, and that... Oh, no, wait, that curse has since been broken. Okay, there is a note that says that that curse doesn't apply anymore because it did require offerings and things. So, theoretically, it's just huge, old, and dead and was inhabited by Nodcaps. But I think it shouldn't be anymore. So, something different seems like it's moved in. And I also got the impression from what Ash said earlier when she was describing the scene that it, I don't think, that necessarily the two things are directly connected. It's just that the ghost gum is the closest landmark to where the traps were. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, but I mean, that might require further investigation. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, we could also go searching for a huge lizard with glowing eyes and shaggy fur that wanders through the jungle, killing people who don't answer riddles right. But that does sound. I mean, I like hunting dangerous. dragons. <laughs> uh, I'm interested in riddles. <laughs> Yeah. yeah riddles are fun. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good option. Okay. Um, or, like a or fun lock. Or yeah, the other option is that we go and try and find the ruins of Atsus's castle, which is also pretty cool. Although we could, seeing as both of those things are somewhere in the jungle, we could just like search for them and whichever one we find. For, I don't Do know. We- <laughs> Yeah. Which do we come across first? Yeah, a castle or a giant lizard? Or do we fall yeah, into some traps? That's a really good question, Ash. If we are looking for either of those and we don't know, we just know in the jungle, how does that work mechanically? Undertake a perilous journey. When you lead your party through the uh, wilds with a with destination in mind, name what you're looking for. Adventure, okay. treasure, the hill, hidden grove of the Elder Blood Tree, a giant right. lizard with a shaggy mane, the ca- <laughs> the castle of Atsis, um, some traps, right? Just you yeah. just say what you're looking for, and I say cool. how. And what I the the reason the reason for that is is that progress is not necessarily a measure of distance. It is sometimes if you have if you're saying the hidden grove of the elder blood tree, but often it's just 
how long do we expect it to take uh, expect you to take yeah. to find the thing yeah cool okay uh yeah so i'm we... in so i'm interested in the rumor that i got because it suggests that there could be some resources for the town um yeah. the yeah. Dragon and Riddle one sounds pretty fun. I don't really know that much about Atsis, so... Yeah, Atsis... I'm not, I'm not yeah. sure about the castle. I'm not opposed to the castle one. <laughs> I just... It doesn't jump out to me personally as much. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, you haven't been uh, following that particular thread. Um, yes, indeed. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, none of the... Like, uh, like, there is a bit of a connection between Bells and Atsis as far as, like... Like right. Bells is searching for uh, for, uh, for yeah. rumors that are uh, at us adjacent. Yeah. Um. But like, yeah, n like none of the characters here are specifically like directly currently in the at us like um storyline, yeah. as it were. Apart from like the uh, uh, yeah, apart from the fact that like I've just ticked up a clock of like danger to the town, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm really actually happy with any of those things so i think the dragon kind of makes sense for you know the party yeah well the big lizard yeah because mm -hmm. green oh. is a ranger right yes i can track that thing like no tomorrow yeah mm. that's and my dad <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> well I yeah, I mean, like, I mean, like the description. The description isn't dissimilar to the existing, like, to to the kobolds. I, I'm really interested to hear about the description, the like, the appearance of tusks, because, because, yeah, like, the kobolds that we've seen it already are these like half, like these things with like you know hair and manes and like hair down their back and then like, um, and then scaliness down their front and uh, um. And I'm interested, is that the kind of appearance that... Cause, and that kind of, like, if you scaled that up, that wouldn't be a dissimilar description of this this, this creature that's been described, right? What if kobolds are like lobsters and they just get bigger <laughs> the longer they live? <laughs> that's where dragons come from. Um, <laughs> Um, but so like, good. yeah, as we're heading out of town, what, like, like we can, we, it sounds like we're kind of like heading towards dragon lizard riddle territory. Yeah. I'm happy for lizard riddles. Cool. Um, but yeah, what, what, did, what do people look like? Um, what, did, what, A, you know, what is their approach to going out adventuring? Are they the person that's like straggling behind or the person who's striding forward into the, uh, into the bushes that they have no idea about? Or <laughs> I mean, if we're going after the lizard, I'm obviously the one striding forward into the bushes that they know nothing about. Yeah. 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 That's, what does he? What does he look like? It's definitely me. Um, okay. So Faustus uh, is like uh, it's human. Uh, he um, has long, flowing dark hair. It's like wavy and very like glossy. Um, and he has he has one of those beards. that's like sort of you know got a bit of a mustache and a little bit of like goatee kind of happening, um, and like a bit bit messy. Um, but he's quite like beautiful. Uh, and he, uh, yeah, he's wearing um, uh, elaborate kind of silks underneath his armor, which like only sort of poke out in certain spots and they have those like big puffy sleeves and things. Um, and like, if you look closely, you can tell they're pretty worn and like dusty and they've probably bought a long time ago, but like, oh, like a quick glance, you know, it looks quite fancy and nice. Um, uh, yeah, and he has uh, he has a rapier uh, at his hip, um, and like long boots, uh, and yeah, not not a whole lot of gear. He's got just like a sort of a little pack um, on his back, uh, and yeah, I think he has. I think he's holding, um, <laughs> he's holding like a piece of paper, and maybe this is like when people like come across him. He's holding a piece of paper, uh, and that like, and he's holding it up like a map. Uh, and looking sort of out into the jungle and like kind of stroking his chin a little bit. Um, but like upon like getting closer, there, there's like, there's just like written on the map, like in in his handwriting, like beta and then just like a big sort of bit of jungle and like a question mark that's like lizard somewhere in the jungle. <laughs> and he's just sort of, like looking at it and being like, hmm. can he spell yeah. lizard correctly? Yeah, yeah, he can spell. He can spell. Okay, just checking. You, you, you got to be able to spell to look fancy. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm just checking. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Cool. I 
think Bells followed Faustus out of town. He didn't ask her anything, just sort of, when he left, just sort of got up and went after him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He totally, like, hasn't noticed, I I don't think, until, like, unless she... uh, Is it she? Uh, Yeah, it's she. Until she, like, interacts with him. I think he doesn't... He doesn't notice it. Well, she's kind of loud. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, she's, not, she's not a sneaky <laughs> so, type. Excellent. No. Uh, so, Bells has a, a tattooed scalp and, like, tattoos all over her body and uh, kind of like a, a khaki skin tone. Uh-huh. And she also has uh, freckles and tusks. And she, I said she's not exactly quiet because she has a that staff covered in seven bells that she's chiming every so often. And um, the spirits that are coming out of her throat are uh, chanting uh, mantras in seven different voices. Sick. Amazing. Okay. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. So So, yes, like as soon as I would hear, hear this, uh, I would, I would sort of like, you know, round, round on this, this new person and, uh, and, and look, you know, startled and amazed by her um, fantastic appearance, uh, and yeah, I think he would like he would sort of approach and and put out a hand and introduce himself and uh, you know and and un- un- ask for like uh, her name. That's- How does he pronounce his last name? <laughs> yes, okay. Um, <laughs> so I think yes, he puts out a hand. He says, "Um, greetings." Uh, we have not met yet, but perhaps we could be great friends. I am Faustus Lacroix, and he like does a you know a, a fancy bow uh, and says, "And please pray, tell me your name." Uh, so Bells holds up her hands and uh, does a a sign that looks a bit like, and the spirit comes out of uh, her throat and says. She calls herself Bells. Um, yeah, and he, he sort of like his eyes go wide and he says, Well, that's a good trick. Very pleased to make your acquaintance, Bells. I am going on a fantastic journey into the uh, jungle. I am looking indeed for companions. Uh, the um, spirit says, No, no, that sounds terrible. Ugh spending time with someone like you and I think this is the point where she starts slapping it and looks really frustrated <laughs> that's so good <laughs> oh my god does someone else come in and, uh, and save us from this uh, rather awkward situation I think Tsk comes out and I think that they saw uh, Faustus write the word lizards on his map <laughs> And they're a lizard. <laughs> they they can help with this. <laughs> uh, Tsks is a is a kobold. They're um, kind of on the short side. I have written down that they have um, for looks. I have that they're um, soft. They have scales and bright eyes. They have a tail and they have horns, like like bearded dragon, like little spikies. Um, I think that they can grow hair but they've like cut it real short that they like have this kind of like really cut short mane like a buzz cut um and they're wearing uh leather armor and they have a song book under one of their arms and they're wearing like a small pack Cool. and they say i heard you were looking for lizards I indeed I am. I indeed I am. Particularly one uh, large, very large lizard, glowing eyes, tells riddles. Have you heard anything? Would you like to go and seek with me? I I would like to go and seek. I haven't seen any lizards like that. I'm I'm smaller <laughs> than I think you're looking for. I, I think um I think he makes some quip about you know like uh, it's not the size etc cetera, etc cetera, et cetera. <laughs> of course um, he does uh-huh. uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure he's very talented he, like, at waggles this waggles his eyebrows you know um and and yes it introduces himself uses the same pronunciation of his <laughs> last name 
um, and like, yeah, shakes your hand if, if you're interested in shaking hands. Yeah, uh, they'll shake hands with him and say, hi, my name is Tsks. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of like says it to himself a couple of times, uh, and, and it's like, yes, yes excellent. excellent, I can remember that, yeah, very good. Cool. Um, how, do, how do we see uh, Brianna like join the... I, I, yeah. Is it is it that uh, Fellum like goes ahead? Oh no, no, I, I have something else in mind, but Fellum, that would be... I like the idea of Fellum being like, adventure, I could get, I could get rewarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fellum's ready to to make money. Uh, no, uh, I think um, I think Fellum's probably deeper into the the woods a bit, doing Fellum things, and I am sitting, uh, Brian and sitting, uh, sort of in the 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 plant growth near the edge of town, watching these people, and I haven't seen Fellum yet. And then as they go to move into the woods or jungle, uh, Brianain stands up and their, their camouflaged body wraps are now not camouflaging because they've lifted themselves out of the plant growth. They sort of step forward and I think we hear Brianain say through uh, covered, uh, covered mask or covered face, we hear them say, if you're going into the wilderness, you should be careful. There are traps around. Traps! So if you like, I can come with you and try and protect you. Of course! Very much! It would be fantastic. Please join our merry band. Uh, and then I think uh, Brianne sort of makes a strange bird raptor call into the wilderness and we see Felum like bolt out uh, sort of turns to Felum and gets really close sort of blocking the, the view that others have of Felum this huge uh, blue and black metallic bird um, and uh, and Brianne leans in and says would you like to partake in this journey with me, Felum. Um, yeah, and like Felum totally is, uh, is uh, like looks at you, and like looks at your pocket or your pack. He gives you like a walk, like a I, like a. Am I getting paid in ye- snacks? I I stroke Felum's long weird neck. <laughs> And say yes, yes, of course. I understand. I remember. Yeah, and yeah, and is, does that like does like a like a crow like like throws its head back? It's like Wah! and right. and then like just trots off ahead of you towards the rest of the party. Yeah, <laughs> we w- we will be your guides as best we can. I say to the others. I think Phelim just gets distracted for a little bit by the bells, though. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I believe that. Yeah, cool. It sounds like either um, Faustus or Brianne, Faustus or Brianne are leading this uh, this nonsense mm. into the woods. Yeah, I'm happy to. I'm happy to try and track this creature for you, if you'd like. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That that sounds fantastic. All right. Sure. So it sounds like you're doing a, a perilous journey. Yes, I think so. And then when we get closer, I can use the actual track. Exactly. Move. Yep. 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 So when you are undertaking, a, when you lead your party through the wilds with a destination in mind, name what you're looking for. The big shaggy riddle lizard. Cool. And ask the GM how much progress you'll need. Hey Ash, how much progress will we need? Two progress. Mm, okay. And Let's then pencil. roll. If you have a map, add your end. If you have only folklore and hearsay to guide you, add plus one. If you've been there before, add another plus one. I've not been there before. I have never been to the Shaggy Lizard. Mm. Um, we do have a map. Do you have a... Do, is, is, the, is the Shaggy Lizard marked on, on the map accurately? No. Okay. Fair call. Fair call. We do have a piece of paper that says lizard <laughs> on it. True. 
I that... don't think that counts as a map. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair, fair. Um, I think that counts as, like, there's a difference between a map and a picture someone drew. <laughs> Were there any other modifiers? I might have missed uh, them. If you have folklore and hearsay to guide you, you get plus one. Maybe you have rumours. Yep, that's that That counts. Cool, so plus one. And the roll otherwise was 2d6 uh, plus... Just plus nothing. Because plus you... those things? Yeah, plus those things. Cool, yeah. so plus one in this case. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. 13! On a 12 plus, you make two progress. The GM will tell you what that looks like. <laughs> You're fantastic at this. That's Apparently amazing. this is... <laughs> yeah. Holy heck. So yeah, you make you make um you make two progress. Um, I think I think Felum is like just really excited at the idea of uh, of this thing, and just like keeps charging ahead into the forest. And you and everyone has to be like, oh shit, catch up to the to the cassowary. Um, and yeah, you you make your way into the uh, into the thing. You go past. Um, Felum is a bit of a cassowary. Oh my god. Um, yeah, you make your way past, uh, um, past, like, a bunch of, uh, like, weird caves, um, and, um, and end up going, like, through some sections where you're, like, are we still on the ground? I think we're not on the ground anymore. This seems more like we're in, like, the, the, like, leaf litter underneath might actually just be, like, tree branches. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, as you, um, as you're making your way along, uh, I think Felum just excitedly at some point, um... Just like bursts into uh, into like through some trees and things, and you just hear like what 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 like a, like a bunch of uh, and like as you emerge through, Philem is just chasing a bunch of chickens around this like little clearing. Um, <laughs> chickens are jungle birds, so it checks out. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, and yeah, you can see that the, like there's these there's there's this little um, what was once like a, a little like cabin. That um, with like uh, and there's there's a bunch of chickens here um, and I think I'll and like you spot like a leg just um, like lying on the ground uh, on the ground here um, in amongst all of the in amongst all of the like ivy that's that's like um, um, that the the cabin has like forced its way out of and the cabin is like been half cr like had the roof like kind of stepped through or something <laughs> and yeah there's a, there's a there's there's a disembodied leg just lying on its port uh, on the porch um from like, um, from like the hip I would, down i would like to Fel felum totally is like oh tasty snack and starts like checking at it i grab an arrow out of my quiver uh that's got like colored feathers on the back of it and mm -hmm. i shoot it uh at the leg or, or near the leg, uh, and it's a stop arrow. <laughs> yeah, and Felum so like Felum knows not to touch it. Felum definitely does that. Like, whoo! Oh, okay, all right. Like, like you know, uh, um, there is an alert. I'm on alert. Yeah, uh, and then I'll say uh, to the others. Um, Actually, I don't think I will say anything. I'd like to creep forward and is is the the leg you said disembodied. The leg is definitely like not it's not just a person's buried in some leaves. It's definitely just a leg. I mean, it's got like the the bit of bone and like meat yeah. and like blood cool. and you know, the pants are torn uh and it's still wearing a boot. Um Uh what size what kind what size person was this leg attached to? This person was probably like Seven, seven-ish feet tall. Okay. Um, their boot is like is like one that is like it's it's not from the old world. It's like made out of like leather and then tied on. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this this and like I think it's still got like coagulated, but not dry. But like the blood isn't like fully dry. Yeah, okay. And then I look to Felum and I say, guard, please. Yeah, and I think Felum, like, starts to, like, awkwardly clamber on top of the thing to get a- uh, on top of the- Oh, I meant me. Guard me, please. Yeah, no, it's, trying to, it's trying to get- it's trying to get, like, a good- trying to get a good, like, viewpoint for guarding. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's like, awkwardly to... tries to climb onto the leg. No, no, like... it awkwardly tries to climb on top of the- on top of the building. Yeah, sorry, um, I interrupted. My yeah. Bad. Um... I'm just going to check that guard is one of its abilities. I'm 
their abilities. I'm pretty sure I gave it guard. Um, yes. Also, it can guard. Good. Um, I think whatever... I, I say this to everyone. I think whatever did this might still be here. So... Oh. Grim. Uh, I'm gonna try and track it and see if it's perhaps hiding somewhere nearby. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I'd probably take a look at the leg and then take a look at the building and then sort of start to try and piece the scene together. Cool. And you have a, you have a tracking move, don't you? Yes, I do. I'm sort of going to slowly spiral out from the leg. Mm-hmm. Until I can find I, clues. Can I help you in your clue finding? You're welcome to, if you've got a an, an narrative way that you think that you might be able to. Um, well, I think uh, I'm going to assume that uh, a great duel or battle was fought here. Uh, and I will, like, inspect the ground sort of around where uh, this, like, the, the person has fallen over. Um, and, like, maybe kind of very carefully try to inspect the body for, like, and wounds and things mm -hmm. and, and narrate to you my findings sure awesome. cool um so uh i am going to so does that give me a plus one or that lets you re-roll one of the dice oh it lets me re-roll yes 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 cool wonderful fantastic where is the click this move button? Oh, you click its name? Yes. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Would you like to re-roll one of those dice? Yeah, I think I'll re-roll the one. Uh, I'll just roll a d6. Yep. Ooh. I rolled Body. another one. Body. Um, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Let, me, let me have a look here. Uh, does it say in there what it does? Is this one of us being like strangled by the thing that we thought was dead that isn't dead? Yeah. So I didn't have. I don't have anything. It doesn't have any concrete information on the move for what happens on a yeah, miss. So that's I just up make. To you. I just make a move. All right. Um. <clears throat> I think then that. Um, I think that. Uh, I think that one of you. You can choose. Um, like searches for clues inside the uh, inside the like half fallen down um, uh, cabin, and as you uh, and like as you do so, um, I think Felum like steps a little, and the roof starts to collapse upon you. Who 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 is it that like is is being going to be crushed by this building? Would you like to? Well, first, would I uh, like to be crushed by a building? No, no, no. I think the I think the better narrative question for us to decide is who would go and investigate the inside of the cabin do you think that i would think be i think so be? so things that would be worthy that would like catch eyes in the cabin um yeah. a, a tattered red banner with gold uh, uh with a gold um uh like sigil of some kind on it um i think also like um some carvings of like uh, of like people or um, or people like creatures like little humanoid almost like dolls um, made out of wood um, yeah and I, like I'll, I'll go. and like big big um, clay pots jars amphora um, sort of oh. uh, like storage things well I'm intrigued mm -hmm. cool all right yeah so, so as you, yeah I'll go in what is it you're looking at as you as the as the roof starts to collapse I think it's the carvings and would it be appropriate to use my first time visiting a place that's interesting move? yeah definitely yeah sure so that is you ask me a question don't you? or do you just say tell me something uh, when you enter an important location you can ask the GM for one fact from the history Ash may I have one fact from the history I'm particularly interested in the carvings of people but up to you mm, mm -hmm. um I think you see 
Do you, what what did, is is this a thing where you have like a like ha, where you research um, or you have like a just an image and like a memory? So um, the way that we've explored it previously narratively is that it would appear that Brianne has memories from distant times yeah. and places that are definitely not their own. They are yeah. not Brianne's memories. Yeah, I think as you uh, as you handle these things, you place them into the village around you. That is that this that this um that this um hut is suddenly a part of, right? Mm-hmm. And you reconstruct the people in the village um by carving them and placing them um uh, uh like and you know as you reach out and you put them there they're a person now um yeah. from okay. from a past that this that like. And I and I think when you do so, the cabin is not this cabin; it's another similar cabin. Yeah, so this is possibly someone's memories of a of a. These were these were external memory devices for remembering a a place where the person that had made them had lived. Maybe it's the vibe I'm getting, which is interesting. Cool. And then the building collapses. Yeah, we hear like a. Rawr! From from above, as like the, yeah, the roof starts to fall in. Um, uh, defy danger. Uh, tell me what you do. Uh, I am going to try and uh, roll under like a table or a piece of furniture that might be in the uh, in the building. Because mm-hmm. I don't think I have enough time to try and leap out of the building. Yeah, sure. Does that feel like it's intelligence to you or dexterity? I think it's probably dexterity because it's literally anything. I'm not looking yeah. for a specific sure. space. Let's and I, find and out I if... have no confidence as to whether the table will actually protect me. It's yeah. just, yeah, it's cool. Cool. Fast. Sounds good. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out. A nine. A nine is possible. I mean, yeah, you make it under the table um, and the table holds and like you know, a bit of, and like, it's not the whole thing falls down. It's just a bit of the roof and a bit of the wall, yeah. but, uh, you're like, Oh, Oh, there's, there's a lot of rock around, like a lot of like bits of stone and rock around you now. Um, and yeah, and you all just see, I think you all just see the like bit of like one corner of the building falls in on top of Brianne and, and, and you're just like, it, it like, um, it becomes, it gets, uh, it like, it comes to a, a still, and, um, and like, because, uh, and like, um, Felum like flaps down slower than the falling building and ends up on top of the pile and is like trying to work out like, where's Felum, uh, where, where's Brianne gone? I think I have just like, at the, like, as the building sort of is like falling down, I've just discovered like some kind of clue or something that I perceive to be an important clue and I've like straightened up and and gone aha Brianne you won't and then like I watch as sort of the building collapses and kind of do that like oh ah oh oh the whole way through but like there's not much that I can do to stop it from happening um and then I like turn to the other two sort of looking uh horrified (laughs) And I say, um, we have, we have a problem. problem. Uh, Bells is going to nod and then start extruding one of the elementals from her throat. Cool. I think I think at this point there are just chickens like fleeing the scene. For sure. Um, I was hoping to try and catch a chicken to bring back, or maybe two, and then we could have a chicken coop. We do have a, a roost in the works, so there's that. Um, this elemental is going to have the forceful tag. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Good job. Um... And for control. Nice. Um... So it's going to move over and start uh, moving debris. Yeah, sounds good. Um... So, so you're going to spend a control for it to move debris? Uh, sure. I think that I think that's that makes sense to me. Um, yeah, it seems fair. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it starts like just tossing debris uh, aside, um, and underneath Brianne, you hear the like sound of like the 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 stones moving. 
Um, it'll take a little bit, but you'll probably be extracted safely. I think Bells is going to look at Faustus and nod and smile. Yeah, so he like sort of gives a little, a little like clap. I feel like I feel like at some point, like one of the stones nearly misses like Tisks, right? Like, and it's that thing of like, whoo, poof, and Tisks is there, like, a, oh, like. <laughs> yeah, uh, Tisks was like thinking of going over towards the pile to like try and shout for Priene, and now it definitely does not want to be <laughs> anywhere near where the rocks are being thrown. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think, I think, um, I think, like, after a minute or two, I think we, like, bring in, you see light, and, um, and, like, it's, 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 like, deep in the evening, and here, and here, I think, the even like, it's deep into, like, dusk at this point, and I think, um, I think the light is kind of, like, um, an aqua sort of, like, blue evening light, um, tapering through the trees here. Um, and yeah, you, you see that kind of like, um, uh, taper through and, and what does this, what does this elemental look like that, that, that Brianne sees? Um, they're all generally kind of snake-like and well, actually eel-like more in form. Um, but this one is growing like a multitude of, uh, spindly arms with very sharp pointed fingers. Um, Excellent. and they're sort of merging and dividing as it needs it. Mm-hmm. Great. That's terrifying. I love it. Um, uh, yeah. And it, it kind of like leans in, uh, leans in and, um, and, and like offers you one of these spindly arms, Brianne. Um, and, uh, like, um, and, and while it's doing that, it's also, I think, looking with another like bit of head, back towards the the rest of the group being like ha ha you know <laughs> like <sighs> i take it sweet head <laughs> is it is it very very hot or very very cold it's very cold yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. the chill of the grave yay uh uh, uh. well cool <laughs> yeah yeah. All right. Um, fun times. <laughs> as I lift myself out of the, well, as they lift me out of the rubble, or pull mm-hmm. me out. Are, are Are you okay? I look around myself. I am alive and unarmed. I'm harmed. <laughs> I was terribly worried for a moment there. I thought you were dead for sure. No, I'm. Thankfully, I'm fine. Thank you for freeing me from the rubble. Of course, of course, the lady could not dare to uh, dirty her hands herself. I love that. I love that everything you say is said about you. That's the best. And every minute, I'm, like every now and again, I'm like, wait, what are you? Who are you? Wait, no, you're referring to you. Yep. <laughs> yep. So good. Um, some of the chickens return and try to climb into the building, and one of them falls asleep. Yes. <laughs> Shall we take a break there? All right, let's let's take a break on on that moment. <laughs> <laughs>